What is up, everyone? Welcome to Max on Deck. <laughs> How's that for an entrance? <laughs> <laughs> so, Chewy got a GMK set today. <laughs> oh, it's not dark, Chewy, man. Come on. I got the cool glasses on now. <laughs> yeah, one drug man recognizes. My dog didn't freak the fuck out this time, so that's nice. I don't think you ripped it quite as aggressively as you did last time. Last time, no, was... I was I was angry. I, that was a buildup, right? That was you know I, I had I had time to sit there and think. Um, so what's up, dude? It's been like you know seven hours. Yeah, Chewy and I we uh, we had an, a bomb lunch today. It was really good. Um, an old favorite to our favorite cheesesteak place. Dude, yeah, it's it, it was good. Delphin with a sub, man. Hell yeah, ten months. So, but uh, yeah, it was it was good. It was you know we had had it in the car, nice socially distant lunch, not from each other, but you know, <clears throat> you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Um, no, it was good. You know, got to talk got to talk keyboards, talk shoes, talk life. You know, sometimes sometimes you gotta gotta pull the curtains back a little bit from what you always talk about and be like, how are you doing? Yeah, I feel like we haven't had the like life talk because it seems like more often than not, whenever we talk, it's like business stream or it's, you know, with a whole bunch of other people. It's never been just like, dude, how are you doing? You know, well, it's what sucks, too, is like, you know, our, our ability to hang out. Yeah, is obviously, you know, we try and pick and choose. The whole point of it was so that I could deliver. We share a solder sucker. And um, yeah, you know, um I didn't bring it, so I guess I'll just have to see him again. Damn. Um, glasses match modern dolch ish. All right. 
So the colors, so the picture profile on this camera is adjusted. So it's not 100%, uh, which I can show you a quick, funny little demonstration. And boom, now they're green. Now it's a little sharper. <laughs> it's a little darker. You know, this is, uh, there's just a couple different picture profiles. Sometimes this will look really good like outside, but I am not outside and I do not have stream lights outside. So we go back to here, you know, and then this is kind of the most accurate, but there's, you know, no, no color. This is the, uh, yeah, that's like the one that you uh, would use for editing. For yeah. Video. For filming to throw a nice couple fancy LUTs on there. But, um, yeah, so it does. It it looks like it matches Dolch, but it 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 doesn't really. Whoop. I dropped him, so there you go. And now Chewie is blind. Yep, Zenny, dude. Uh, did someone say solder? Hell yeah, Dolphin. So, um, yeah, we got a cool episode today. So, quick shout to our awesome sponsors: uh, Dixie Mech, uh, Canon Keys, Project Keyboard, and SwitchMod.net, as well as Zap Cables, Type Bea.st, and Smith Rune. Uh, we'll hear more from them later. We're, we've got a fun topic today. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna kind of intro it because we're actually probably gonna cut this part out uh, after uh, for the YouTube video because um, we're gonna be talking about uh, like a holiday gift guide. Um, we'd been kind of wanting we'd kind of wanted to do one last year, but this year, um, and this is something that I think will last kind of stand the test of time. We might do like an update next year, but a lot of this stuff we'll go into it in a second. But we have mail. We do. So and what's on your desk? <laughs> and what's on your desk? So that kind of coincides for both of me. Uh, but if you want to go first, because I'm very excited about mine, and while yours is dope, I think I waited longer for mine. <laughs> you did that. You did that. You did. <laughs> All right. So for me today, I got some some mail. Um, this is a piece of it because the other piece or main section of it. Actually, I could probably unplug it. I have to unplug this anyway. Um. I got a new cable from the aforementioned Zap Cables. Got myself a nice little detachable cable. It's a really cool, uh, it's got a gold um, aviator connector, which is pretty nice. Um, the TechFlex is pretty freaking cool. Let's see if I can get it to focus on it. It's like a mixture of black and gold. Looks nice. It's very blingy. Um, but yeah, I'm really, I'm really excited. It looks great. Um, it looks awesome. Got the nice little USB-C and then the, the mini as well for those, those boards that are still stuck in 2017. Um, <laughs> and then what is on my desk? It is the board that I built on Saturday, the mode 80, and I can see myself in the back uh, or butt of this keyboard. So I got minimal alphas. There you go. You can see my whole setup. That's my arm that holds my other camera. There's my camera. There's my webcam. So yeah. Um, yeah, minimal alphas with Bing Su modifiers. Thought it looked pretty cool. Um, this thing sounds really good. It's got creams in it. Feels great. Sounds really good. Um, yeah, I think this is a great board. The, I believe if you are interested in one of these, you can still pick up the the group buy or not really group buy. It's pre order, but they come out in uh, January is when they plan on shipping them. Um, you type exclamation point. Smart mode. to avoid. Yeah, yeah. smart to avoid uh, the holiday shipping. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, you can type exclamation point mode in the chat to to find more about those um, about that that currently running buy. They've got some pretty cool colorways going. Uh, and they still have a couple of the first edition, which are a little bit more. Um, but I think at the the pre order price, it's definitely I would say worth it. I think it's like four fifty or four seventy. It's uh, yeah, that's not bad. I mean, it's solid. it's got a, I know it's got a, a interesting uh, mounting situation. It sounds really good. I mean, at the end of the day, what do you want aboard? It wants to look clean and sound good. Boom. Yeah. And it's the, the mounting system is something that I feel like could be implemented. I told Chewy this, I was like, I feel like this is the kind of mounting style they should have used for boards like the GMMK pro. Like it's like really simple, super easy. Um, it's like a three, it's literally just three screws. 
mm-hmm. in the bottom, which is really nice. They they refer to it as like a stack mount. Um, it's definitely different, definitely interesting. Um, yeah, I think it's I think it's cool. I think it's it's fun to see new things. It may not be exactly what people are looking for. Excuse me, but I think some you know there's gonna be a lot of people in the community that really enjoy it. Plus, it looks Hell great. Yeah. It does look clean. Nice, nice five head on that bad boy. Dude, I, that is the one thing I was saying. Uh, Jay from Top Clack built his, and I was like, man, this thing would be so cool if the uh, uh, if the bezels were even all the way around. Yeah, that'd be dope. That'd be dope. So uh, I got two things. Uh, actually, a couple things, but um, a couple of them are like with my wife right now. But I've got, come on, I got this Gengar uh, artisan from um, Keeb Noob Stream. Ooh. If you guys don't know Keeb Noob, she just is the most recent person to chat. So thank you, Miss Keeb Noob. I've got some cool stickers as well, I think. I got, they're kind of in my drawer of stickers. So really, really cool little Gengar. Um, I like that. It's, I guess, I don't know if it's supposed to be Ditto that turned into gengar let me because that kind of has the like ditto yeah the ditto face face for for those who understand that reference um so but the next cool thing the rest of this came so super stoked on that um so i put it on it's been the key cult has been waiting for it so this is my mail day this is also what's on my desk um so yeah ursa finally came in hold on that some super clean fucking love this board um love this keycap set uh i wasn't a huge fan of the enter the bear on this enter but the like the the paddington bear is one of the best iso novelties ever um it looks real clean. I love the the brown and the green. And I'm ready to say <coughs> that this is now my new favorite keycap set of all time. Wow. It's it's overtaking camping. It's overtaking. It's moved camping into spot number three. Ooh. Um, so I, I just it's it's everything I want. I do like the color brown a lot. I think brown goes. I wear a lot of a brown uh, and like my uh, my. <laughs> style <laughs> um I, I do love the color brown i like the i like leather um and then the green just pops it, it pops while not being obnoxious because green is a color that can get obnoxious really really fast um i like camping for that but the reason so for those curious my one through four is now ursa modern dolch uh camping and mizu and i still love camping but the reason mizu gets or uh, camping gets bumped down as camping's really hard to match with a board. Yeah. It's really hard to get it to go. That looks sick. It looked really good on my antique brass TX 60. Um, yeah, it is basically baby Yoda colors. Um, but I just, you know, it's on my crown right now and it's still, it's, I'm just like the, the alphas are so warm. It's, it's such a warm white that it really has a hard time matching things that are in the uh you know in white uh i think the best way to do camping is to put it on a green board that doesn't match the green in camping um but this i feel like this just works it just works the nathan alpha man that the novelties are great the like i said the only one i really wasn't a big fan of was the the enter the standard uh enter the antsy enter bear uh, but i love the flowers i love the clouds like it's just I've been waiting for the set. I knew I was going to like it. I got teased with the novelties last week. That's um, so hilarious that they shipped you novelties <laughs> without the base kit. So um, just kind of funny, but uh, and then getting to use the key cult again. So I haven't used the key cult in about a month uh, because Zykos can be these, these Zykos specifically, they've been used in three different boards now four, three, four different boards. Um, and they're really starting to fail. The tops are really starting to see it. So I actually fucked up one of the space, the space bar switch and had to replace it. Um, so 
but getting it, you know, getting it out and typing it again, I'm like, oh man, it's like on the Zyko mat and everything. It's heaven. <laughs> you're you're reliving why you joined the cult in the first place. Exactly. Ooh, DD declined. Thank you for the raid. Appreciate that, my dude. How Hell was yeah. your stream? Um, yeah, dude. I haven't mm. used my Zyko's board in forever. I need to. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, he did build a crown. It's a blind assassin. Oh, I got new shoes, too. I can, I mean, can, I'm rolling over the thing. We got, got these. Here, I'll show them off. Why not, right? Yeah, show them off. Show them off. So those, those of you guys know, I'm a big fan of shoes. So I got these little, these Vans. Yep, Vans are just classic, right? I love high top shoes. These are like Fab, Fabiana Delfino. I don't, I don't know. She's a pro skater. I looked her up last night, but they're kind of the mechs on deck colors, right? I mean, you saw them in person. They, mm -hmm. they look clean. It's got like corduroy on it and they're just, they're classic, right? Yeah. So can't was, go wrong with some skate highs. Can't go wrong with some skate highs here. I'll put them right there. Boom. Showing them off. So there we go. So today we have our holiday buyer's guide. This is going to be something that's good. If you got, if you got someone that maybe isn't familiar with a hobby that you want to get gifts for you and they have no idea what you got, you got your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, and you're like, I want keyboard stuff. And they're like, I have no idea. This is good. Stocking stuffers all the way from stocking stuffers up to you know, the, the big granddaddy gift. The big gift. Talking Key Cult Custom Commission. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not, not quite that far. But, uh, but it's, it's really, we've kind of compiled a list of everything at price points all the way from, you know, a couple bucks up to a couple hundred dollars. So that way um, it can be stuff that maybe you're not thinking about. Some things that maybe are things that you wouldn't purchase for yourself that you would use. I feel like that's always the best gift. If it's something that you're like, you would use, but you're like, eh, I'm not really going to buy it. That's the best gift to me. Yeah. Because it's like, at that point, you're getting something that's useful that you wouldn't have purchased. So we've got some things in here that are going to be super useful that maybe you haven't thought of. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, quick shout out uh, to Langlandia. Uh, DD decline help today. I put a you know message. I was like, Hey guys, can you, I need, I just need help. Cause I know I'm going to forget something. Um, but, uh, DD decline, Langlandia, Brez, uh, Genly bean, doodle Bob, uh, AKA Abraka Daniel. Um, and Rick helped a good bit. L vision. Like a lot of people really came in, stepped up, helped out, uh, stepped up to act like they, it's like they weren't doing anything, but I, I really appreciate uh, all the help to kind of put this together. Uh, cause I showed up and I was like, what are we doing today? And I was, I was like, aren't you, aren't we doing that? <laughs> yeah. I was like, the wait, I, guy, we and I was like, got to get on that. So we worked this out this afternoon. Um, so thank you, DD decline, um, for both helping out with this list. So the, the one primary thing I wanted to, uh, re it, you know, kind of reiterate. And when I told them about this list is this list ignores preference. Uh, well, to the to for the most part, this this list for the most part ignores what you like about keyboards, right? It 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 ignores. So we're not putting switches on here. We talked about switches, but you know, you know, it's it's risky, right? You don't want to buy someone a bunch of switches and then go, well, I'm never going to use these, right? You know, you don't want that. Uh, we ignore keycaps, boards. Uh, we talked about PCBs for a while, but even then, because of layouts, um. So it's, you know, we, we tried to eliminate like what's something everybody likes. So if you hit exclamation point buy, you can actually open up the list. Um, and it's, you know, it's all right there. They're all links. So once again, thanks everyone to help me put these together. And I see people are flooding in <laughs> to, to the list. So we're going to, we're going to, we're going to touch on all these. You can look them up as we talk to them. Uh, I think Osiris will show a few of them. Um, and yeah, let's, let's go through it. Yeah. So 
just to show everyone if you're maybe you're on mobile or you don't want to open it up, this is just kind of a little overview of what the list. So we've got a couple different categories here. You've got under 25, under 50, uh, under 100 or right at 100, and then ready to throw down are those. Those are going to be the items that are above $100. $100. This spans not only the keyboard hobby, um, as well as into streaming, which is a big thing we've seen in the past two years. You know, we started Mex on Deck uh, back in early uh, 2019, um, but a lot of new streamers have, have come in, and there's a lot of people that are trying to get into streaming. So we got some things that we like, some things that we actually use um, in order to uh, make everything happen. <laughs> so we've got a couple that we're going to go through. Uh, and the first one is one that Chewy and I both swear by. Something that we love. Um, you've seen it in our build streams. And it is quite possibly one of the most useful things that you probably wouldn't think of. And that is the Weller SM1 Solder Mate. It's not very expensive. Great stocking stuffer. $10.66 right now on Amazon. Like this thing's awesome. Stop. Stocking stuffer, right? You know, under 25, 10 bucks. Easy. Makes your life really easy. It looks real clean, you know, on the desk. You know, it's, you're not, when you grab the wire, you're not yanking it around the desk. Uh, fantastic little buy. Um, you know, Osiris is the one that found it and he sent it to me. And he's like, you should get one of these. They're literally 10 bucks. Um, so, yeah, I mean, highly recommend uh, this. It fits the Weller uh, solder, which is on there for, uh, the under 50 solder is a little bit more expensive. We'll, we'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, but it fits those. Um, it fits those. Um, sorry. It fits those. Uh, that, that spool of solder. And so you're able to, um, you know, you're really able to use that and get, get a full use. And then you don't have to, like, keep track. of. I mean, it's just there. If you want to leave it on your desk, it looks clean on the desk and all that. Yeah. The other thing is it keeps your solder, like, spooled well. Like, you don't have to sit there with like tape to tape the end to make sure it doesn't like unravel on itself. Like while it's in your, like a drawer somewhere, it also makes it easier for storage. I, I just leave mine on my desk. If I want to put it somewhere, I can just put it in a drawer as is on this thing. Or more often than not, I just kind of push it out of my reach and it just sits there. Cause it's, it's really nice. It's there whenever I need it. And um, yeah, it makes it way easier than having to do the whole like, Pull, put the put the, the solder on its side and then pull it and then that falls over yeah. and it rolls off your desk and, then... and you un, you've unspooled <laughs> like 20 feet of it yeah um so yeah highly recommend for both of us and we've recommended on stream before 10 bucks uh you know if you want to get I me mean, this is stuff if you just want to get for yourself you know this is you can kind of treat this list as that too of like oh just kind of you know what what do people like um so but on the list kind of also going to we're going to we won't show you exactly all of these via a link but uh as we talk about them you can kind of click through i put desk mats it's the only one that's not a link you can go to any you know dixie mech novel keys uh kono has desk mats i believe um canon keys i mean desk mats are good it's a little tricky right because you know if they don't like the design that's one that kind of buy with caution but that's something that would be fun to get someone. It's like kind of the, oh, now I don't have to spend this extra money on a desk mat that I want. Yeah, absolutely. It's a fun little gift if you got, you know, for friends and keyboards or if you want to treat yourself. Desk mats are always fun. Uh, there's a couple other things in here. You want a solid, one of the better screwdriver sets for cheap. The Nanch set is on there. I know Chewy swears by that. Um, the stem grabber thingy. Uh, which is a drooler tool uh, that's on there. Great option. Works yeah, really absolutely. well. Uh, scales, you know, if you're, if you're, so that's a streamer one, I think, uh, kind of put it under the, the guise of streamers. Uh, people like to know how heavy a board is. Uh, and you'd be surprised how th that small of a, I don't remember exactly how much the scale was, but yeah, it was 11 bucks and it works, right? Uh, I use this. Uh, Nathan Kim uses this one specifically. I know that because he asked people, hey, what scales do you use? And I sent him that. Um, so, 
and you know there's just a lot of things on here the solder sucker is another good one um that's a and one that i know you swear by ceramic tweezers dude so okay so i feel like ceramic tweezers kind of get mean because people are like oh you have those because you used to bait but the thing is about some ceramic tweezers especially as like through hole things are more popular um these are awesome because they are non-conductive and they can handle high heat they're not going to melt so if you have like if you're using a board that has diodes and one of the diodes is like real weird you can actually use this you can hold the diode while you are you know heating up the solder to kind of like perfectly position it if you're doing something like a romeo or a discipline um you can use this for it as well as if you're if you've got um, like a resistor or something or a, a SMD dial on a board and you want to hold it in place, you can utilize ceramic tweezers to hold it in place without having an issue with um, it frying something. So yeah. ceramic tweezers, always a good option. They're not that much more expensive than regular tweezers. Definitely recommend because of their, they're not, having not being conductive and the heat resistance. So, yeah. Uh, and rounding out, I, I do need to put one more thing on here. Um, because I think we, we had a long discussion about it, but I took it off, but I'll put it on here. Um, actually I'll just slap it on there now. Um, but to round out your, um, to round out, you kind of like, you kind of need a tool kit, right? You need a, a small tool kit, a Nanch set. We'll get to a nicer kind of Nanch set. It's not a Nanch set, but a nicer tool kit. Uh, in here in a second, but you also need uh, flush cutters. Uh, it's always great to have, especially if you have like, you know, if, if you're doing the through hole stuff, um, that's great. If you're doing, um, if you're building cables, that's another thing um, that can be extremely helpful. Uh, one that you may not know, I'm going to put, it's the IC puller. Oh. Uh, you, I forgot, we were, we had a long discussion about this but I forgot to do it. So I just put it on there. The IC puller. That is a switch puller. It's called an IC puller. You can get two of them for nine bucks. Um, I know I've got the exact one from that. I've only had one break on me and it, it, it was messed up pretty much as I got it. Um, so great stocking stuffer that, you know, this, this, I had one, I had one go bad. So full disclosure, but they're also like four bucks. Right. Uh, and this one, I have not had any issues with. So, um, you know, they if they do break, they tend to break kind of up, like they'll bend too much. Uh, but once again, you get two. So you, you already have a backup and they're easy to replace. Great stocking stuffer for the keyboarder in your life. <laughs> yeah. And I know uh, as Brandon H347 said in chat, a lot of people have these already. But it's also one of those things, there's a lot of new people in the community. You may have some friends that are newer that may not even know that this exists. Um, it's not like exactly meant for switches. They've kind of modified the text on the Amazon uh, link because of that, uh, because of people using it for that. Um, so, but yeah, it's great. It's great for pulling switches out of, out of plates if you got hot swap boards. Um, really any board right you're desoldering this is so good to have um yeah. super super useful so definitely check this out but i think next up we want to get into that 50 dollar tier we have one that that i know chewy has um i have something similar but not this exact one mm -hmm. um can't really pull it out it's in the closet um so this is a storage bin. Um, it's got uh, a good chunk. I don't. I can't remember. I think it's like twenty four, uh, twenty four containers. It fits a keycap set almost. Could to. I mean, I the the more intense sets that have like every single key imaginable. It might get a little full, but it does fit seven used diagonally. Um, you kind of you might have to maneuver a little bit, but it'll fit key sets. It's also great if you're using a key set and you don't want to use bags and you don't want to use the new GMK stuff and you don't have the storage bins. This is great if you want to keep your spare key keys, right? You know, if you get some of these new GMK base kits have 
um, you know, some of the new GMK base kits, they don't even have numpads. You're only, you might only have, you know, 30 keys. You don't want to have, this is a great storage solution for that. It's perfect for switches. Um, it's excellent, excellent for switches. You can fit like 150 switches in these things. Uh, very, very useful. Um, so, and then, you know, it's great for other things. I put springs in there. I put stabilizers in there. Uh, it's just great for storage. And this is just something that, you know, if you kind of, I know a lot of people kind of like their, their space, right? They're like, this is their workshop. And this kind of has that workshop feel pretty inexpensive, very light. Uh, it comes, put, you don't have to put it together. It comes together. So yeah, it's, it's really nice. Plus it's, uh, you can also wall mount it. It's got the screw, uh, position. So if you've, if you got like, chewie has got his new pegboard. If you got something like that, uh, you can, you can mount it up there. You can just mount it straight to your wall. It's got dividers. So if you got two different types of switches, we all know what happens. You order 90 switches, you end up putting it in a 60. What do you do with these other 25, 30 switches? You, you can put them in this, you can divide them up and, uh, you know, keep everything nice and labeled as well, which I know Chewy has. It's a good way to kind of keep track of everything you've got. And instead of having just like in random bags, this keeps it all nice and tidy in one place. And you can keep it either in sight if that's your, your jam or out of sight like Chewy does and put it in the closet. I got one behind me that's similar. I actually wish I would have gotten this one because I got one that has smaller uh, drawers. But, uh, but yeah, these, these are awesome. Yeah. Absolutely love them. Uh, next up on the list, this is something that Osiris talked me into a long time ago. This is an electronic air duster. Um, my multiple multiple uses, right? This is not something you know that's specifically for keyboards. Most most of us, uh, are probably into PC gaming, or probably are running our. You know, if you have a desktop, it's going to get dusty. It's good to every once in a while just unplug everything, take it out, take it out back, get all the dust out. It's great for keyboard. It's very loud. <laughs> yeah, it is very loud, and it will scare it, scare your pets. Yeah, but. so it'll scare your pets, and if you get too close to the bottom of it, it'll <laughs> suck in. Um, so, but it's, it's great for key, cleaning keyboards. Um, you know, and uh, you you want to keep your things clean, right? This is it's a great little multi-use multi-function you're saving the environment by not having to worry about uh those duster cans and on top of that uh the the one big thing is that the cable is extremely long yeah it's great these things are so awesome to use because for those of you who don't know you're not supposed to use vacuum in your computer because a static could damage things um you want to use a canned air or blower like this and uh works out really well plus you can keep your keyboards clean you know i know a lot of us probably don't clean our keyboards as much as we should and by cleaning them i mean not just the exterior pieces i mean taking those keycaps off getting all the the beard hairs the he the hairs from your head the food crumbs you know all of that off of there um getting all that out every once in a while it's a good thing and this makes it really really simple uh plus you know, even here it talks about you can use it on in your car, which is really nice. Um, it's this is I, like I clean, I clean my tower fans. Yeah, it's great for cleaning tower fans. You just put to put that out and blow it right through. And it, you if you have a tower fan in your uh, apartment or home or uh, and take that, take this out there. You'd be surprised that it like immediately makes the fan brand new again. Yeah, this thing is freaking great. Um. These are, these are awesome. There's a bunch of different brands of these. Uh, they kind of range. I think the one I got was a little bit more expensive than this. It just says giant electric duster on the side, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, plus then at this, if you get one of these, you're never paying for canned air again, which is yep. adds up. It does. Adds up. It does add up. So and what, what the last, the last one I know you really want to talk about, obviously a lot of these, a lot of the stuff on the under 50, the solder, great thing of note. Uh, but the big one is something that you have. Yeah. So if you are someone, I pulled it up here, you got the wow stick. You actually save 8% right now with a coupon. Interesting. Uh, $46.99. It comes with a lot. This is freaking awesome. It lasts forever. I've got mine. It's got a nice little light on the end when you're 
screwing and unscrewing. Um, it comes with like literally every bit that you would need. Um, I will say the only downside of this is that the bit storage is not the greatest, but you can get other things that, uh, to put those, those bits in. Uh, but it's magnetic, uh, tips for your screws, uh, makes it a lot easier. Plus, you know, you, you can use this as a gauge cause it's not super, super powerful. You can use this as a gauge to how tight you're going now with what we've seen in the past couple of years with all the gasket mounted boards, a lot of them, you don't want to over tighten the screws. Um, this is going to go to a, a pretty nice, uh, even tightness just based off of when it stops. Um, so you can, you're not going to be worried about over tightening. It's not too much power. Whereas there's some other ones, you know, it's not like a drill where it's going to just keep going and going and strip that. Um, so definitely highly recommend this. It's super easy to use. It's really nice. It lasts forever. I feel like I never charge mine. Um, mm -hmm. so definitely yeah. recommend it. DD the client brings up a good point. If you have a Nanch set and you want to upgrade to something like that, a little more fancy, you can fit the, the Nanch bits in there too. So it, it does kind of work with both. Um, you know, so, you know, the, that kind of secures the store. I'm not saying go buy both. If you don't have one of these already, it's great to have another, another great multi-use tool. You know, a lot of these things, you, you kind of realize once I started picking up some of these keyboard things, I started realizing a lot of these things I just like having in general, right? You just, you know, like solder is not, I don't, I don't typically solder things outside of keyboards, but, you know, the NAMP set, great purchase all around for a lot of different things um you know the wild stick would be a great one uh the switch storage solution yeah i've used that for other things as well so uh, a lot of the air duster it's a lot of these things kind of span beyond and that's what we're trying to you know reiterate is <clears throat> these gifts can be the multi-use function gifts are some of the best gifts right yeah because they they go you it's not s specific yeah this is also one of those gifts that if you send this to someone who is uh has no idea about keyboards, they're going to be like, Oh, I can see how this is useful. You know, like, cause this is just, you know, the wow stick, the Nanch, the duster, like everyday people are going to understand, um, are going to understand that, Hey, this is useful. This is nice. The other thing about the wow stick that's cool is that it aesthetically looks pleasing. Like if you have that sitting on your desk, it's not, it's not like an overbearing tool. Um, mm -hmm. you know, you can, you can have it out. So, it, and it, and it just works really great. So yeah, all these, all these things are super, you know, we haven't gotten to the, the higher, more expensive things, but outside of the storage unit, all these things can be stored really easy. I have the Alex drawers and almost everything I use is in the storage drawers. I have my left side is keyboard stuff, right side is everything else. Um, and all this stuff fits beautifully. Like it's, it's fantastic. So. Uh, but other things we got the solder the the solder fume extractor is nice. Uh, we have some recommendations on stream lights and lighting stands. So if you're kind of getting to the stream thing, uh, kind of a, a weird sign up. But lighting is going to be more important than the quality of your camera. Yep, absolutely. So yeah. upgrade like your notes. lighting before you upgrade your your camera because you have a, a great camera with bad lighting is still going to look awful. <laughs> so. Yep. Wait, uh, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? I see no problem with this. Yeah, dude. Oh, this isn't that <laughs> bad, but yeah. <laughs> Teach me how to use my lights. Keep new. I got you. Um, so, but you know, that's kind of the under 50. Now we're getting into the, um, the more expensive stuff, this is going to be a little bit more, you know, obviously you're not, this isn't the, like the friend of a friend that you throw this at. This is, you know, maybe a spouse, best friend. If you're getting your best friend into the hobby, uh, you know, that's one of the best ways to kind of get some of these people in. Uh, so we've got the, the under 100, some of these flirt with that line of 100, but we're talking, you know, 105, 108, uh, the first one we'll talk about is, um, well, we got two options for soldering irons because you get into the keyboard hobby. The one thing I remember is like, oh, I'd love to get into the keyboard hobby. I'd love to buy this keyboard. It's like $250, $300. And then you're like, oh, I got to spend how much on solder? And the solder side, I had to buy like this little cheap solder kit. It was just, I hated that part. That kind of really pushed me away uh, at first. And then once I got the Heiko, which is what we're going to talk about, 
the Heiko on here. I love this uh, soldering iron, uh, and you'll probably notice on stream a lot of people use this. It's the FX888D. Uh, fantastic. Uh, sits on the desk. Very reliable. I've never had any issues with it. I've I've had to swap the tip the tip out um, a few times. So you you know you will have to. Uh, just kind of pay attention to the tip if it's oxidizing too horribly. Um, but you know, this is, this is another, this is kind of one of those, like if you're someone who, instead of getting the huge gift, like here's your PS4 and then here's some socks and that's Christmas. If you're someone that's like, Hey, I got you this and this and this, this is a great little, like, you know, big solid gift of like, well now I don't have to buy that. And I know it's never going to get messed up. So. Yeah. I mean, this is, we both have these. Um, I love mine as well. It's, it's super consistent for what we're doing um, with keyboards. It's nice. I like that it is somewhat modular, uh, whereas some of the other options, yeah, obviously you can get, if you want to save a little bit of money, getting something like the TS-100 is a fantastic option at, that, uh, at the price point that it's at. Uh, I like this because if you have an issue with the actual iron, you can replace the iron, you can replace the tips, um, you know, you can replace the base station if you need to. Um, it's, it's nice and it, and it looks good. I, that's the other pieces. I like things that kind of like look good on your desk. Um, one thing I don't like personally about the TS 100 is the fact that it's like, I don't know, it, it's, it just feels awkward to use for me. It's like real small and it's not as comfortable. Uh, the uh, FX eight 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 D is is uh, easy to to use. The padded grip is nice, a little bit thicker than what you would get out of the TS one hundred. Um, yeah, super solid iron for not too crazy much because there is some other crazy ones on there, which I'm sure we'll talk about later. <laughs> yeah, but uh, uh, yeah, and at one oh four, you know, it's yes, it did not. We didn't, you know, I, I didn't want to put something that was four dollars over. You know, cost with shipping will cost you a little bit more, but um, yeah, it, it hits that hundred dollar range, and I think it's it's just a fantastic pickup. I think anyone, this is a great one if you if they're already in keyboards and they have the soldering iron, but maybe they just have one like they got one of those huge kits that was thirty dollars and it's just not the best. Um, you know, you get you, this is good for the seasoned keyboarder too. They just you just they never really focused on upgrading the not it's not it's, this is kind of the not so fun upgrade right this is the this is the essential but it's not the most fun thing to spend a hundred dollars on you'd rather buy a keycap set than this well this is great to ask for as a gift yeah it's definitely like one of those things if you've if you're rocking uh you know a cheap soldering iron that you've had for a couple of years starting to look a little bit you know, oxidize and it's not working quite as well. It's taking you forever. And you got like four or five or six keyboards coming in in the next year. Maybe consider picking one of these up. You won't regret it. It's useful. You will be surprised at how many other things that you will be able to do with your soldering iron other than keyboards. Um, it does come in handy. Also, if you want to start building your own cables, you can do that too. Cables, uh, DIY kits you can get at Zap, Zap Cables and try that. It's pretty fun. Um, is a little bit difficult, but it's a, it's a fun little experience. Uh, and doing, doing it with something like this would be much better than using like a, a cheaper, you know, a little $30 pack that you can get on Amazon where it comes at everything. It's still a great option if you're just doing one or two boards, but if you're doing like one or two a month, this, this is definitely worth the investment. But yeah. And, and, oh, and the last thing I'll say on this and a lot of these things when you're going into a build, you shouldn't have to worry about your things working, right? The, mm -hmm. you, when you want to be focused on the build. I, you know, when I'm streaming, when we're both streaming, we're both like, okay, we got to make sure the cameras work. I don't, I, I'd rather, I want the stream to look good. The last thing I want to have to worry about is my soldering iron being janky. <laughs> <laughs> so true. So it, it's just, it's good. It's like, I got it. I never have to worry about it. Again. It's the best hundred dollars I've spent in this hobby probably. Yeah, absolutely. And next up, we have one that I actually didn't know existed until today. Uh, this is from PC Panel. This is the PC Panel RGB. This is a pre-order. This is a very interesting piece, little piece of tech that you can throw on your desk. Um, 
So this controls output levels of individual applications on your computer. You can adjust them at any time, even in full screen games or doing other things. It has OBS support. This is pretty freaking cool. Um, the uh, the Go XLR has kind of taken over the stream game in the past two years uh, that it's been released. This kind of takes some of that functionality and puts it at a fifty dollar price point, which is pretty crazy. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, fifty bucks pre order right now, sixty dollars. So we did. It's it's a, eventually going to be sixty. Um, I, we actually I pre ordered one for my wife. Um, so I don't I don't need one. If you have a Go XLR, it literally does what the Go XLR does, um, without the microphone function. There's just there's no microphone function for this. Um, uh, you can actually set it to where it'll like adjust your mic, but there's not any like preamps or anything like that where it's. It's, it's you're just going to plug it into your computer it'll um uh, make it separately but uh and yeah it does fit in a dvd drive but it is usb so you just have to figure that out so yeah you can put that in a three three and a half inch drive or bay <laughs> um but it's great if you're someone that switches from speakers to headphones you can just press a button and boom it switches it for you if you you know one thing i love is you know i can control spotify separately from everything else if you're streaming, this has good use with OBS. If you want to turn, it's it's a lot easier, and it looks it 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 looks a little bit better. If someone's like, "Hey, my audio," or "Hey, the music's a little loud." All right, let me just dial that down. A bit. And it's just easy. You don't have to think about it. You don't have to click to the next thing. So great for streaming. Great for everyday use. Uh, and <laughs> I don't think he would ever talk to us, but Hardware Canucks is where I found this. Nice. <laughs> So the old version is what he reviewed, but this one, uh, it's got the RGBs, the Alex Odos, uh, treatment. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, that's, that's also a cool thing because you can adjust the RGBs in order to, you know, discern what, um, you're changing without having to like have it memorized. Um, and I'm assuming, I'm not sure with the actual like software, uh, but I, I'm sure you can probably have multiple like layers and presets to where you can float between them and adjust there. Cause yeah, this thing's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool little adjustment, uh, piece to add. And at, and at 50 bucks, I'm excited to get ours. I say ours. It's going to be my wife's, um, chilling space. What's up, Javon? Thank you for the compliment, by the way. Uh, and zap, how's it going? Um, guys, zap cables, Osiris just got his brand new fancy cable. You know, uh, if, if you're looking for a dope cable, can make one i know he's been randomly kind of throwing up like hey we're gonna do some custom cables zap cables for great cables and desk mats um so but yeah it, it's just a cool little thing i'll probably talk more about it whenever we get it in because this could be huge for streamers right you don't this is a you get this and a yeti that's a hundred that's 150 dollars that's almost half the price of a go xlr and go with the go xlr you don't even get a mic right <laughs> yeah well and what i'm thinking is looking at this at the like what i would perceive the footprint to be a stream deck just like the regular stream deck would right fit perfectly right on top and then you've got your stream deck to control you know basically it can stream decks can do so much which is why that's on the list as well um and then you can control all your volume underneath it it's like a cool little streaming setup Almost like it's a little a shit stack deck, for your deck. Yeah, dude, it's like a little shit stack for your instead of for audio for uh for your streaming. So hell yeah, dude. Um next one we'll talk. I, I've used this. Um Osiris and I use this, trusted our boards in it. This is the Apache uh weatherproof case. It does have the kind of pull apart foam, so you can actually go in. I you I would use a like a knife or something because um you're able to kind of cut this out. Uh, shout to Drifting Bunny. He's the one that introduced me to this. It will fit in Austin all the way across. It's real tight. Uh, you can fit about four boards um, if you kind of load them in like this. You know, if you uh, if you're putting them in, you kind of have to put them in like this. That's where it's going to get the most padding. You can do down, but obviously you lose a lot of space. Um, so I have one when we traveled to San Jose, uh, we used it. Um, 
if you're flying, make sure you release the <laughs> the, the, water, the water seal valve, or you will not be able to open it for a long time. Um, so great little storage case. If you're someone who doesn't really have a lot of, you know, you don't have the ability to put things out, but you want to keep it safe, eighty five bucks. Um, you know, it's a little bit cheaper than these Pelican cases. Uh, the Pelican cases are great, but if you're looking at this, is kind of more squared off. Fits an overhead bin, so it's great for flying. Uh, fantastic little, fantastic little option. Yeah. Plus, also, uh, I believe it's either this brand or something extremely similar. If you've got a Harbor Freight near you, they have these um, in a bunch of different sizes, even all the way up to the ones that that have uh, handle and wheels. So if you've got a Harbor Freight next to you, also look into that. I believe they have this exact brand. Um, if not, it's something similar. You can get it in different colors as well. Uh, so great place to out. put all your stickers. Absolutely. Fantastic nothing, place to put all nothing, your stickers. Nothing says cool like flight gear with uh, stickers. So very, very happy that uh, this exists. One, I'm glad that I have one. Um, because you know it gives us the option you know and you can it's great you know as they show it's great for camera gear too uh you know when you're when you're flying it was it was great we did kind of make the joke of like they're gonna see this case and then they're gonna put it through an x-ray and be like is this guy carrying fucking keyboards <laughs> this case like what the shit but it's nice you know we didn't have to worry about it right it was the only thing that was a little bit annoying is this one is handheld so you have to yeah. carry it I think I put the Austin and the OSA or not Austin, but the, uh, the Baca and the OSA <laughs> was like 25 pounds of just like, Ugh. so it can get a little heavy, but, uh, I didn't worry about it. Anything getting damaged. Right. I wasn't like concerned. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's a great, it's a great purchase price. Great for long-term storage as well. You got like a, a larger keyboard collection. You don't know what to do with them. And maybe you have some boards that didn't come with their own case or you want to, you know, maybe consolidate a little bit of the storage. This is a great option for that as well. Keeps them nice and safe. Keeps the dust off of them as well, which is really, really nice. Uh, so yeah, definitely recommend getting some sort of flight case, especially as we move into 2021. And hopefully at some point within the next year, we can start having meetups again. Uh, but we'll see. <laughs> yeah, next absolutely. up, we move, or is there any other, other ones you want to touch on? Ultrasonic cleaner, uh, I think we put on here uh, another multi-use function. I think this got put in the wrong spot because this is, uh, or no, that's under 100. Um, ultrasonic cleaner, solid. Um, if you are uh, married to someone who has a lot of jewelry, this is a good look. This this might be something that you kind of get together, right? Or you ask the parents. You know, if you're if you're in a you know committed relationship, you don't even have to be in a committed relationship. You just want to go, hey, I bought this thing for keyboards, but hey, if you want to come over and clean all your jewelry sometime, uh, you can do that. Um, you know, it, it's mul another multi-use tool. Yeah, I have one. I've used it quite a bit. One thing that My it's great for. Good, huh? My caps look good. Yeah, I was gonna say it's fantastic for cleaning keycaps. So you, as we move in. Like I just said, moving to 2020 or 21, hopefully at some point we have some meetups, get your keycaps nice and clean before the meetup, bring them home, take them off, get them nice and clean after the meetup, get all that uh, meetup gunk off of them. Uh, it's a great option for that. If you got switches that are lube that you maybe want to try a different lube, you use ultrasonic cleaner on it. It's just a great purchase to have. Um, you know, it's really multi-use. It is a little bit frivolous, but this kind of falls into that category of something that you wouldn't necessarily purchase for yourself, but you would use more than you would expect, I think. Yeah, absolutely. So, ready to throw down. Dude, are you ready? Are you ready? So, we're going to go through everything, but we've kind of landed on what the best gift is. It's at the top. You can kind of see it. It is the Heiko desolder gun. All right. This thing's expensive. 250, 260, 270. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money for one specific tool. If you are someone that owns a lot of boards and not a lot of them are hot swap and you like tinkering, you like 
you know, pulling the part, if you, or, or if you see your spouse and they are, you know, maybe, maybe they're a streamer, then now you can, now they can offer desolder services. Uh, or if they're building a lot of boards or if they're building their boards a lot, this will save you so much time. This is uh, the Heiko FX 888D. That's the best $100 purchase. This was one of the best as a channel. We bought this. Uh, we, we share this and it's just made life 10 times easier. Dude. Yes. Desoldering is probably my least favorite thing about keyboards. You know, it's funny. We always, we always ask people on Wednesday nights, that question of what is your favorite and least favorite thing about the community or keyboards. And for me, my least favorite thing, desoldering. Cause without a desolder gun, it is awful. It takes forever. It's frustrating because then you end up having to do things two or three times with the Heiko. It makes it so much easier. Um, definitely, definitely well worth it if you are someone who's going to be purchasing a lot of boards from Mech Market or purchasing boards secondhand. Maybe you're trading um, or just you want to change out switches every once in a while. Uh, this is a fantastic thing. You're significantly less likely to damage your PCBs using one of these uh, than even with like a nice desolder pump. Like, guy, I've got an engineer SSO2. This thing is fantastic for like one or two switches. Whole board kind of sucks. Yeah. Um, it gets it gets old really fast. Yeah. Um, it's you know that's that's the perfect one for the the quick fix. You don't need to pull this thing out because it does take a little bit to heat up. Um, so you just kind of have to, you just kind of have to take your time with it, but. When you're doing a board, I mean, I literally desoldered and soldered a board together in like a, an hour, like a 60%, but it was just, it's, it's a little loud. So maybe, you know, if you, sh if you're like computer setups in the bedroom, maybe don't do it like two in the morning. Um, you know, unless, unless you just don't care, but uh great, great purchase. If you are someone, if you're watching this and you're, you know, your, your spouse sent you to this video. I cannot stress enough as some weird looking dude with blue glasses, how amazing this gift would be um, to the, 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 it opens up the realm of what they can do with keyboards. Uh, like this is, this is the N64. This is the, <laughs> of the, of the keyboard. I'll be of getting this for Christmas. You're going to open this up and go, Oh shit. Cause now it's like, not only have you made my life easier, you've now let me be able to do even more. I can go further with this. Absolutely. Hashtag save melee. Um, but, <laughs> but yeah, no, this is absolutely of everything that is on those, this list. This is most definitely the, the leader of the, I would not buy this for myself, but I would love to have category. Yeah. Um, yeah. 100%. So if you've, if you don't know what you want for Christmas and you got someone that is willing to drop this kind of money um, on a gift, maybe it's a parent, maybe it's a spouse, um, maybe it's a boyfriend or girlfriend, maybe it's just an insanely good friend. Uh, definitely worth the hint, the wink, wink on the Heiko desolder gun. Cause it is, it is amazing. Like it, it's unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> It's just like, it's one of those things when you first use it, you're just like, oh my God, the anxiety of desoldering is gone. <laughs> I don't have to try anymore. <laughs> yeah, the sugar mama. Uh, so next up, we talked about this a uh, little bit, uh, the stream deck. This is something Osiris uses. Um, honestly, the only reason I use it is because I have to trick myself into thinking that the Bento Nano is a good purchase. Uh, <laughs> but... It's uh stream deck multi-use function for OBS for Twitch. It's fantastic. Um, it's, it's got now functionality with the go XLR. It's a really cool. Uh, so if you are a keyboard streamer, you'll see a lot of streamers actually do have this. Uh, I know Osiris uses it all the time, so it's great little buy one fifty. I wouldn't go for the six key one. You'll no. see the cheaper one. It's not worth it. It's really not worth it. The, the, uh, 12 key or sorry. 18 15 key sorry i don't even know how many keys it is 15 key one is kind of where it's at if you want a small one um 
six key is not really worth it. This thing, like Elgato has done so much with the stream deck that you can use on not just streaming, but like everyday PC use. Uh, it is amazing. It is super useful. Um, I use it to control media. It's really nice. You can use macro pads, but sometimes it's hard to like remember exactly where that macro pad does. If you've got a lot of different things or it's a larger one, um, this gives it to where you can have all of your stream. You know, I've got 10 different scenes that I have on mine as well as like different other chat things go live, uh, turning on and off different scenes, um, or sorry, different sources. I've got a folder to where I can change to a different set of things. So when I'm like on my daily use, I can change audio. I can, um, start, stop music. You know, it's just, it's a great useful thing. Um, there's so much you can do with the stream deck, uh, would highly recommend it at 150 bucks. It's really worth it. Uh, next up, something that is very frivolous. I would not recommend this for someone who is just soldering a couple boards. Uh, this is someone who is soldering a ton of stuff. If you're doing boards every week, if you're doing multiple boards a week. If you're doing more intense solder work, uh, the Pace ADS 200 is probably one of the best soldering stations on the market. Uh, at least consumer wise, very expensive, 280 bucks, but it is insanely consistent. It is heats up like in, insanely fast. Um, I know man of interest, excuse me, has one of these and he swears by it. Uh, it is a fantastic station. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's kind of one of the, like, like we were talking about the Heiko, but even better. It's like, you don't have to worry about it, right? You don't have to, you buy this, you're good. You're good. Um, so the last two, sure, SM7B, it's the mic Osiris is using. So these two are, these two are mics, fantastic mic. You are going to need something to plug that into. Um, so if someone already has the Go XLR, but maybe they're using like a Yeti or something, um, you know, SM7B, fantastic. You know, you got, if, if you're wanting to kind of, <clears throat> up your game with the audio um the these micro this microphone uh is a fantastic option it's it's you know four hundred dollars it's 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 a bit expensive uh, but it's the fact that you go watch podcasts that are on youtube 90 percent of them are having either your mic or this mic um there's yeah. it's it's they're t they're, there's a reason that they're used all over the world professionally uh, this one is a little bit of the, is the cheaper of the two. Um, and it's a very, when I say it's a very flat microphone, it's a good thing. It's yeah. it's a very flat microphone. It's very, it's going to sound extremely close to what you sound like. Yeah. Plus it has a lot of, uh, it has a lot of modularity in terms of the way that it can sound. Uh, it can sound more boomy. It can do a lot. It takes well to EQs. Uh, so you can use a lot in, if you're streaming or if you're singing. Uh, it's a fantastic mic to do a lot with. Uh, it's extremely popular in studio work um, as well as podcasts and, and of course streaming as well. Uh, just because it does sound really, really good. It takes well to compression and it's super directional. So if you want something that you aren't going to have on screen, would not recommend this. You have to be close. Both Chewie and I, yeah. you can see our mics are like two to three inches away from our face because you got to be close in order to really get the full sound. Um, this is definitely that mic. Uh, so highly, highly recommend it. It's actually one of, I would say one of, if not the best mics in the world for the money. Uh, I know $400 yeah. sounds like a lot, but in, in terms of, if you were looking at actual microphones, like for studio use, this is a bargain. Yeah. This is nothing compared to that. So, and let's talk about its little brother. Um, so this is brand new. We haven't gotten our hands of test on it cause we don't really need one. Um, but honestly, this is where I think you go, right? I think if you're streaming, you know, get yourself some decent lights. If you're, if you come from a photography background, you already got the camera stuff figured out and you want to spend, this is where you go. You start here. It's an, it's a USB mic. It's, it's going to be like 85 to 90% of what an SM7B is going to be. 
It's not going to be exactly the same, but it's going to sound fan. It's going to sound better than a Yeti. It's going to sound better than most microphones that are out on the market right now. And the best part about this, you, you know, you can plug it in via USB. Also, there's a massive thunderstorm. So if we cut out at any point, do apologize. Uh, but I just saw a huge flash like in my face. Um, but it's a fantastic microphone. And the best part, because it has that XLR function on the back, you buy this. And then if you want to go get the Go XLR, you now get the benefit of having the Go XLR. And you can switch from a USB mic to an XLR mic. And now you're getting double benefit from the XL, Go XLR. So yeah. just can't recommend this one enough. Yeah, this one's great. It's one of those things that you don't... A lot of people will buy something and then they upgrade in like six months or a year. And, you know, I'm not one that I... I don't like to have to upgrade everything. I like to buy what I want right out. You know, maybe take a little time, buy what I want right out because then I don't have to upgrade later. This is an option that is great for that because you don't have to upgrade. A lot yeah. of the differences between this and the MV7 and the SM7B are things that you wouldn't hear if you're doing YouTube streams, Twitch streams, YouTube videos. Unless you're doing like professional level recording, there's going to there's gonna be very small differences between the two because everything on, on these platforms is so compressed. It's so... Uh, the quality is so much lower than what is actually going into uh, the the OBS or your or your computer. Um, it's this is a fantastic option, especially two hundred fifty bucks. So much flexibility. I yeah, it's, it's crazy yeah, that it's, they offer this. <laughs> if if this had come out a year ago, I would have this. Yeah. Oh yeah. If, for sure. Yeah. If if Osiris and I had to start from scratch with a budget of, uh, you know. With, or with a budget, I don't know what the number because I started thinking, God, cameras are expensive. But if we if we were just if we were like having to start from scratch, or we did kind of have to penny pinch, these mics would be the mics we have because it's multiple functionality. Oh crap, my Go XLR is acting funky. Plug it right into the computer. You know, it's it's got multi func. It's it's great. Oh, we want to take this. You know, you want to take this with your laptop and go traveling, and you want to maybe do an on the road podcast or something. You know, you, you now you you pop it out of the Go XLR and take it with throw it in your bag, take it with you. Now you've got your this great microphone with you on the laptop. So fantastic microphone uh option there. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So, this is a uh fantastic option. Can't sure. recommend uh <laughs> this microphone enough, honestly. Yeah. So I'm going to look over this uh, tomorrow. I'll probably go over this as well. And, you know, rename, I'll probably add a few more things. Uh, if you have suggestions, PM me, um, op open all ears. Um, we'll post this. I'll post this list in our announcements channel. We'll get this YouTube video up. I'll try and I'll, I'll try and post it on Thanksgiving so that, uh, you know, if Black Friday is coming up, you want to send these links to people. Uh, it's a, it's a great starting point. Like I said, you know, it's tough to say, you know, these things you can buy, right? You don't have to wait on a group buy for these. So you can unwrap these things, you know, during whichever holiday uh, that you recognize. Um, there, it's just all fantastic options uh, that we really like. And, uh, you know, you're not going to be doing preferences. If you want, you know, if, if, I'm, if I'm asking my wife for something, I'm going to ask her for something that's on this list as opposed to something so that I can save that money that I would spend on this. And I can go put that in the keyboards now. Yeah, absolutely. Again, it's one of those things. These are, these are things that are things that you need. Honestly, a lot of this stuff in here is things that you really need in order to, uh, truly get the best experience while building keyboards, um, you know, throughout your keyboard journey. Some of them are a little bit frivolous, you know, the Apache weatherproof case, a little bit more frivolous, the, you know, desolder gun, but they're things that are extremely useful. Um, a lot of those things under 25, I can't stress enough how great those would be for parents, significant others to get you for as stocking stuffers or small gifts, friends that have no idea what to get you. They may be like, what the hell is this? But it'll make you happy. I always yeah. every year put together a little like Amazon wish list and just send it to my parents and they just buy things from it. 
yep. and that's easy. <laughs> some of this yeah. stuff that's on here are things that I've, uh, that I've purchased before. So, um, these are great. The, a lot of this stuff is just great to have around. So yeah. this is a great list to keep, not just for the holidays, just in general, <laughs> in general, you know, birthdays, you know, birthdays, random gifts, you know, it's, it's, it's good little thing where you're able to just kind of look, this is something, you know, if you're getting your friends into keyboards, right. You know, you don't, you want to kind of have a quick list of like, you know, Hey, here's a hundred bucks. This is a good starting chunk for you is here's, you know, here's this and then this and this, and you know, it's just, I'm, I want to say again, thank you very much to DD decline, Langlandia, Brez, uh, keep noob, doodle, Bob, uh, Rick, uh, Osiris, obviously <laughs> helped I'll put this together with a couple last minute additions. Um, and generally being just like huge. Thank you. They helped me uh, put this together with the links and everything. Um, so, and very helpful with the suggestions. Um, yeah, it's been, I'm, I'm, I was happy to get this. I want, I was really excited to kind of get this episode out there um, and get this on YouTube as soon as possible, get this list made because the holidays are coming up and, you know, not to be too much of a Debbie downer, but this could be a real good time to kind of try and end the year on a high note. It's been a rough year for a lot of people, you know, and, and may, maybe you don't have a whole lot of money, but some of the, like I like Sarah said, some of these under 25 things, you don't even realize you want it until you get it. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's going to kind of wrap up our gift guide for holidays for 2020. Um, yeah. Again, appreciate everyone hanging out, chatting. Uh, Absolutely. What do we got tomorrow, Chewy? Tomorrow, we're doing a cool little uh, kind of a, we talked about a streams giving. The idea just kind of fell through schedules around the holidays. Um, we're going to so be hanging out with some good, a lot of the moderators of the channel um, are going to be going to be on uh, and some other good good streamer friends. I know uh, DD Decline, well, I don't want to permanently... <laughs> make him show up he did say he did say he was going to show up so uh we got a couple you know a couple people um just coming on we're going to talk about keyboards we're going to talk about holidays maybe maybe do a what we're grateful for thing you know in the in the name of uh thanksgiving so uh yeah it should be a good time yeah absolutely so come hang out with us tomorrow at 8 p.m central time uh yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be a good time it's gonna be chill it's gonna be fun. Um, might have some some adult beverages as well. Ooh, uh, you Chill know, I did pick, I did pick up some adult beverages. Ooh, I've always got. I mean, I got like a whole like shelf right there, whiskey. So I'm good. I think yeah, I even I'd... have whiskey at your place. Yeah, <laughs> you got two different bottles. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, let's uh, let's see who are we gonna raid. Ooh. Got anybody in mind? I don't. I don't. But I do want to give uh, a quick shout out to our sponsors. Oh, yes. Shout out to switchmod.net. You can go to switchmod.net slash mechs on deck. Uh, they've got n- not a ton over there right now, uh, but they are restocking things. So definitely check that out. You get 4% off when you use our link or use uh, code mechs on deck. Uh, definitely helps us out there with that one. They've got tons of stuff coming soon, so stay uh, close to that. Dixie Mech announced, I believe it's today, 8,082. Uh, check that out. Uh, it's it's launching here in a like a couple weeks, I think, in December. Yeah. So nice little blue revision to 8,008 as well as the initial keycap set that they ran back uh, last year in August. I know a lot of people are looking to pick that up. So definitely use code MEXONDEC or MEXONDEC.DIXIEMEC.COM to pick that up. Project Keyboard, they have tons of pre-orders for sets that have ran. If you missed out on sets like Sumi, Dolce R5, Perestroika, Noir, go check it out. You can still get those. You can still buy them. It's a little bit more than it was in Group Buy. But you know what? You don't have to pay extras price and you you get in you get a guaranteed set you don't have to be one of those people when extras go up everyone's posting pictures on instagram and you're like man i missed out and then you can't buy a set 
Just get it now. And then last but not least, Cannon Keys. Go to cannonkeys.com slash mexondeck. GMK, how you, it's here. And it looks good. Let's check it out. Also, how you desk mats, definitely a, a great option for a lot of different colors uh, for gifts. Um, I know it won't ship out immediately, but lots of different colors there, as well as the, uh, the bear switch opener is pretty freaking cute. Um, yeah, it's a great, great option. And they got some switches, some lube films, and they've got those new OA stabilizers in there in stock, which I still want to try seeing, uh, seen a couple different things on those. So check those out over at canonkeys.com slash max on deck. Yeah, and then uh, like we said earlier, Zap Cables are an awesome partner, uh, and <clears throat> he makes makes the best cables. Um, you can go pick up some DIY kits. He also has some in stock items. He's got great desk mats, so be sure to check out Zap Cables. Type Beast, Type B E A dot S T. He's got the best newsletter uh, in the hobby, so be sure to subscribe to it. Go back; you can read the old ones as well. He's got he's got a way with words. <laughs> He's got a way with words. And then lastly, Smith Rune. Go to smithrune.com. Uh, check out some merch there. Iron 180 raffle this weekend for the Earth Not Raffle, the Victory Auction. Um, uh, so we're going to, um, I'm going to just keep, we're going to talk about that tomorrow probably in, in detail because it's, it's, that, it's that port color, that awesome, awesome port color, the, the one I built on stream. So um, be sure to keep your eyes peeled for that. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So trying to find out who we can raid. Um, kind of want to raid. Well, I don't know. I think she just finished. Shit. Who's that? Basic? Basic. Let me see. Got any homies on? Any friends? Any friends? You know who we haven't raided in a while is I am me, you are you. We have not. That could be, you know, oh. Okay, no. You know who's on right now? Who? Abe. Oh, wow. From back in the day. That is a throwback. That is a throwback. Hell yeah, dude. All right. Abe CSGO. He's playing Valorant. This is a homie from back in the day. He is a former professional Counter-Strike player. I believe he is going, trying to go pro in Valorant. Um, Chewy and I were big in his channel fans um he actually played in a major for csgo if anyone in chat knows what that is um yeah so we're gonna raid abe csgo we'll have to say say maybe like chewy and osiris Osiris, say what's up say what's up yeah um so guys thank you tomorrow 8 p.m like i said we're gonna have Little, little little fun, you know, grab a beer, grab a, grab an alcoholic beverage if you are of age and legal drinking age. Uh, we're just going to be hanging out, talking to a couple, bunch of different people. It'll be, it'll be real, real chill and relaxing. So thank you guys all for c- tuning up. We're going to be, uh, we are going to be posting this video very soon. Um, so uh, keep a lookout on where we are going to edit it down some. So just kind of just the the meat and potatoes of it, but uh, thank you for everyone showing up. And as is tradition, buy a switch tester. <laughs>